Good morning friends and welcome to the pre-market view. US markets were marginally down. Dow was down about 0.1%, Nasdaq was flat. Uh, European markets were marginally up uh, anywhere from 0.1% to almost about 0.7%. Then when we look at the Asian markets today morning, uh, Hang Seng is up about 0.45%. However, Nikkei is down about 0.35 to 0.4%. And SGX Nifty is suggesting that we are going to open down about 15 odd points. So in terms of flows, friends, FIS were net bias in the cash market to the tune of about 1537 crore. The domestic institutions were sellers to the tune of about 835 odd crore. And in the index futures, the FIs were sellers to the tune of about 137 crore. Overall, our market has been holding out pretty well. Uh, in fact, we are outperforming most of the global markets. Uh, and uh, despite this kind of a big run up that we've seen, the market is holding out extremely well, which is a good sign. Uh, mainly because of the performance of the uh, BJP in the state elections. Uh, however, we have to be a little watchful at these levels uh, because any uh, slowdown in the flows or any uh, news on the global front could actually uh, give some kind of a correction in the market. So one should not be really looking at building new aggressive trading positions at this point of time. On that note, let me invite our FNO expert to take you through important FNO cues and ideas that we can have from the derivative side. Good morning friends, welcome to analysis on derivatives. In Friday's trading session, taking excuse from the international markets, our market did open on a flattish note and thereon we did saw some kind of an um, uh, struggle to find any kind of an intraday trend when Nifty oscillated between negative and positive territory throughout the day and eventually managed to close on an absolute flattish note with a loss of 0.05% settling at 9171.75. On the open interest terms, 2.5% which was shared in the open interest in the absolute terms around 8.84 like shares were uh, shared in the open interest and cost of carry also declined significantly from 6.5% to 3.5% that is nifty premium did came down significantly from 24 points to currently trading at 14 15 odd points indicating majority of the unwinding which was seen in friday's trade was due to long unwinding pressure uh, put call ratio have increased by 5 basis point and it was um, uh, it, it was the uh, it, it was a data to watch out for quite closely since we have been seeing a very sharp increase in the put call ratio straight away from 0 0.89 uh, to 1.14 it was a one way journey on the higher side and around uh, uh, a 24 basis point jump in just 4 to 5 trading sessions which is quite substantial and this is mainly we have been seeing significant amount of addition in the put option in the last few trading sessions and in Friday's, uh, Friday's trade also we have seen Despite market closing on a flattish note, the put options was quite active and have seen a very significant amount of uh, the build up in the open interest into it. Uh, volatility index also cooled off, uh, uh, we could say it was more or less same and it's been trading at absolute um, uh, ab absolute low that is at a, at a, at a multi-year low and in uh, Friday's trade it settled at 11.86 from 11.91 uh, odd levels. On the option side, on the call option, not much of activity, 9200 call option continues to be the highest in terms of open interest with around 58 at like shares into it. And in Friday's trade, it did took resistance around 9200 odd levels uh, where Nifty uh, tried to cross 9200 but eventually not been able to, uh, was not, uh, was not succeeded to do that. And uh, later on, it did saw some kind of in profit booking on selling pressure around that level due to which it closed on a flattish note. Well, on the put side, uh, as mentioned earlier, we have seen a very significant amount of activity in the put option, especially in the 9100 and uh, put option, uh, the activity have increased substantially. 16% uh, was added into it, 9000 put option have also seen an addition of 12%. Uh, however, 9200 put option have seen an addition of 43%. However, the base of 9200 put option was quite low and hence the addition of 43% is always uh, a bit on the uh, uh, is always a uh, is always noteworthy, and hence, however, the 8,800 put option remains. 8,900 put option is now the highest in terms of open interest for the uh, March series. Uh, seven securities into the bank period for today's trade. There is Century Textiles, Bharat Finance, GP Associates, uh, Jet Airways, Reliance Capital, Syntex, and Bocard Pharma. On the FIS front, index futures have net sellers by 137 crores, not much of activity by the FIS and index futures. In Friday's trade, index options net bias by 834 crores, while stock futures net sellers by 425 crores and stock options net bias by 8 crores only. On the market level, our Friday's we have stands at 9106 uh, with a lower range at 9106 and high range. 
at uh, 9263, which is the highest total break even point for this series. As the XMP is trading flat, it's down by 10 odd points and it's quoting anywhere around 9160, indicating some kind of a negative opening can be expected in the morning trade. That's it from derivatives. Thank you. Friends, uh, let me take you through share country market action, starting with the uh, ideas first. Uh, a long call on PSU banks as the center is going to infuse almost about 8586 crore uh, capital in the uh, 10 banks uh, and uh, that could have some positive rub off on select banks uh, like uh, uh, Bank of India and Dana Bank where we have put out long calls here. Also in terms of other news and developments, Maharashtra state budget has been presented uh, and about 8233 crore has been allo allocated for the irrigation project. So, Watch out for some positive action on giant irrigation and select uh, pipe stocks. Uh, liquor prices have been hiked in Maharashtra after the VAT has been increased uh, from 23% to 25.93%. And panel on uh, iron ore pricing to submit report by month and uh, government may also finalize the national steel policy by next month. Kota Bank 6 note to raise foreign investment limit to 49% from the existing 42%. Uh, government is considering proposal to levy anti-dumping duty on imports of tyres uh, and will meet tyre manufacturers uh, on 28th of March. Bharti Airtel is close to buying uh, Tikona's 4G spectrum. Overall value of the deal could be about 1500 to about 1700 crore rupees. Marico to acquire 45% equity stake in Z Lifestyle and Aisha Motors. Uh, um, we commercial sells 100% stake in Aisha Engineering for about 1.85 million dollars. ONGC signs a uh, pact to buy out GSP since KG uh, block stake for about $1.2 billion. GMR Infra close to selling 40% stake in Delhi Airport to Paris Airport. Uh, EPFO, the Provident Fund accounts, could be allowed to invest about 15% of the coppers in equity. That's a positive for the flows perspective into equity markets. Cabinet may consider GST supplementary legislations today. Sun Pharma's arm Taro will be buying uh, Canada's Italian Pharma for about 2.7 million uh, Canadian dollars. Adani to finalize Australia coal investment plan by June. And TPC clocks uh, highest ever annual power generation at 264 billion unique. HCL Tech uh, board meet today to consider the buyback. Here is a list of stocks with positive and negative bias. Stocks with positive bias are Torrent Pharma, m and Finance and Bharat Finance. Stocks with negative bias are Idea, Landmark and Core India. And here are advisory picks for investors, which will be flashed on ET now at 9.30. ABFRL, Aditya Birla Fashions, Vanrila Holiday, Case International, IOC, and CSC. That's it from all of us, friends. Have a great uh, session and see you tomorrow at the same time.